In this part of the uh, electric bike conversion project uh, we are welding the uh, battery back and uh, that is accomplished with the help of this gentleman here Antti Alhonen and he has built this uh, quite impressive uh, welding robot uh, usually these battery packs are welded with uh, nickel strips and uh, just a regular spot welder but uh, nickel is four times worse uh, for conducting electricity so it has more resistance than copper and, uh, but the uh, copper is more difficult to uh, weld so right now we're or rather Antti is testing testing the uh, uh, positioning of the uh, battery pack to the uh, to be welded so there's his robot has a X and Y axis controlled by stepper motors and a pneumatic up and down motion and uh, the welder itself is a modified TIG welder uh, which it spurts out some argon to uh, protect the weld and and then he's made a device that measures the current uh, welding current to uh, precisely measure the uh, current obviously here I am just using some double-sided tape to uh, attach the 0.1 millimeter copper sheets in place so there's the uh, sheets in place now we start welding there was a lot of testing and Antti had to uh, adjust the code on his machine because he's built it pre uh, built it to uh, weld specific battery packs big battery packs so he had to edit his code on the fly there's a lot of testing and simulation simulating the uh, the uh, weld files make sure the uh, weld goes to the right place and now we're now we're starting to uh, actually weld there's a <laughs> bucket of water to throw the battery back in in case something bad happens and there on the right you saw the big packs he's been making with the uh, robot and he's further uh, optimized the uh, welding process so that the uh, positive terminal gets two welds that are made with a bigger current than the negative terminal which has less material so it uses four four welds with less power And there's the uh, first row almost done. We had a couple of other guys from the hack lab to follow the procedure out there. <laughs> there's a, the other guy used to uh, flash on his camera and we all got a little scared. <laughs> 
and there you can see the uh, two welds for the positive terminals and four for the negative ones there's the uh, third row starting it's just a pleasure watching this robot do its work I really have to extend uh, big thanks to Antti Alhonen this project would have been that much more difficult without his help not only with the welding but also the uh, technical know-how he's, he's been giving He did have some issues with the uh, the uh, welder doing some interference with the uh, robot. There's a clip coming up where you can see the uh, little bug that the system still has. So the uh, welding arc creates an electromagnetic pulse that interferes with the uh, interferes with the uh, up and down movement of the robot and so it interrupts the weld too early and it, it's weaker than it should be but uh, that only happened one uh, well a few times here it is no next one Oh, next one. There we go. So that happened a couple of times. It was no no big deal since there was lots of weld points anyway. And we did have to add a couple welds manually. Again, because the uh, software he had made for the robot was specifically for the uh, bigger battery packs. There it did the... Uh, thing again and here's the uh, last weld and the pack is done and here's the uh, finished project Excellent.